Toilets are a modern day convenience that take care of human waste, but they're not so great at disposing of other items. Some of these are outrageous and you may not believe that I put them on the list, but after doing some research, I found out that these are the most common items that are flushed down the toilet. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where I aim to bring you everything from minimalism, sustainability, self-care and self-development. Flushing certain household items instead of tossing them in the trash can can contaminate the water systems and clog the drain pipes. Consider the consequence of your actions and do not view it as out of sight, out of mind. And not to mention between 3 and 11 litres of a precious resource being wasted every time you flush these items down the toilet. And that is water. Although the packaging might state otherwise, flushable wipes should not go down the toilet as they do not break down in the system and can cause issues in the sewer system called fatbergs, which I mentioned in a previous video on five things you didn't know contain plastic. If you run out of toilet paper, facial tissues and paper towels are not a suitable substitute. These items were designed to absorb water and not dissolve in it like toilet paper, so they're more likely to block up your pipes. Cotton balls, cotton pads, q-tips or earbuds are definitely not safe to flush down the toilet. They don't break down the way toilet paper does and all they do is clump up together and cause problems in the sewer system. This might come as a shock to you, but menstrual products should also not be flushed down the toilet. These products are meant to absorb fluids and will not break down in water and will expand once you flush them. When floss is flushed, it basically forms a net, holding and catching on to other debris. Just because it's organic matter, it does not mean it won't hurt the environment. Unfortunately, it does. In a similar way to dental floss, hair forms giant balls. As a cohesive substance, gum is a bit like glue and it gets stuck to pipes blocking the natural flow of wastewater, which create massive blockages in the sewer network. Whether flushable or not, you shouldn't be flushing diapers down the toilet. Just like menstrual products, diapers absorb water and they're already so big to get down the toilet, but on the off chance that you're able to do so, it'll expand and get caught in your pipes. Cigarette butts are like a plague, they're everywhere, on the streets, on the beach and in the water. A cigarette butt is composed of a filter made from cellulose acetate, two layers of wrapping paper made of paper and or rayon, nicotine, carcinogens and hundreds of toxins. Medicine should never be flushed down the toilet as it'll contaminate the wastewater more than it already is. Ultimately, it'll have a toxic impact on the water resources and the water you drink. This water can also contaminate lakes and streams, hurting fish and other aquatic life. Many wastewater treatment systems, which usually cleans up the water, are unfortunately not designed to remove medications. Not sure if you guys have watched Dirty Jobs hosted by Mike Rowe, but when there's a block in the sewer system, there's some poor individual that has to go out in there and sort it out. So have a heart. So that's my two cents on all of this. I hope it resonated with you a little. And as always, until next time, be the change you want to see.